most on YouTube. My name is Mia Famoy. So I recently um, acquired a bunch of these phone um, for the last two months. So these have came from September, and this came from October, and all of these came from November, the early November day. So let's get started. So um, my brother came back to Vietnam after a few years of been living um, in the France, and he gave me these two phone. This is the Nokia Lumia. Was it 950? It still work. It is running Windows Mobile 10, and I couldn't reset it. It's tied to the Outlook account for some reason. This is a Nokia TA. Um, what's this? 1033. So I think this is a One Plus. Um, this one does have some charge. This battery doesn't really hold a lot of charge anyway. These phone won't work. Um, the reason why I got these two because he had a um some moral or phone because um. Yeah, this one's it's booting up. These two phones booting up, and yeah. Actually, this one is on AT and T, but I think it's unlocked to okay any carrier possible because um he live in France and this is the phone that he brought with him. And as you see, it is fully functional. It's unfortunate that this is tied to a um what we call it um. It is tied to a um yeah I put the wallpaper by myself it isn't didn't came with that when I first got it um but this but I got this one um this one is tied to the out outlook account that my brother used which he doesn't anymore so I can use this and this one let's see um yeah this. This Nokia had a wood has a somewhat, somewhat um, awful battery life that won't last long, but it is running. I think Android nine, from what I can tell, and it is unlocked because uh, he bought this one in France. I don't know. I don't know how much he paid for it. I think it's uh, fifty euro or so. Um, but it works just fine. I don't. I think it's around one hundred or two hundred euro, not fifty. It's my bad. 50 is for the lower, really lower end models, but this the work is a um, it's in mint condition, and I was able to um, reset this one to um, uh, get rid of the old his um, old content. Um, yeah, this one take a. Um, Micro USB. The one weird thing about this one is this is take micro USB and this take um USB C, which I couldn't really understand. But for Android phone like this, um, I don't mind anyway. Um, but yeah, at least I got this thing working. Hold on, let me um put in the code. Okay, so um the battery life of this one is horrible, from what I could tell. Uh. So we are done with the two um, smartphone, I think. Yeah, we are done. And now we move on to some of the fine I got. Um, I got these um, for quite cheap actually. Um, this is um fifty thousand cup down. Um, two dollars, two dollars fifty. This was two, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, one dollar. This um one dollar and a half and. Two dollars and a half. So here is a um, Avio. Um, this one doesn't have a battery. It was expanding when I got it. So, so anyone on one day was selling like a bunch of these um, old Avio phone that are basically brand new in the box. And I grabbed the one that doesn't come in the box. All the battery. It was the cheapest one. It was only um, um, two dollars fifty, and it worked just fine. It is locked to um, Vina phone, which is the current carrier that I'm using. And <clears throat> this battery came from this one. And it actually does have some charge when I got it. Let's turn it on. Or not. There we go. And one thing I'm. I kind of not understand about this phone is that some of the ringtones is quite weird. Um, oh yeah, this um, speaker is blown, really bad. But oh well. Um, 
let me set the C um um let's see which one so this message tone just literally they just literally ripped this off I um what phone is it? Uh, LG VX10 or 2000 uh, like the earlier LG phone but this is a very cool MediaTek phone um, it is a 2010 phone I think this is one of the cheapest um, Vina phone um, cell phone to be sold I think there's some more some more of this in the watch which are made of Huawei but I'm not sure here is the Nokia um, it is a 6030. Um, I do have a. Uh, this one doesn't have a SIM card right now, but I can grab one, and we can show it that it does turn on. Uh, I already have one. Um, um, it had a. Um, I already have one which have which w I have two of these. One work. One one work with a um, kind of bad, kind of um, uh, ugly LCD, and the other one just doesn't turn on. Um, this one. I'll put this battery on. And you see it works. Speaker work, the LCD works, everything works. Nothing wrong with it. And I'm actually quite surprised that they, this is sold for two dollars because it's in pristine condition. And I don't know why, but some sellers sell sell ugly phone for much much more higher price. I don't know, but maybe because um oh yeah this I put a Viettel SIM card, which is why um. Oh yeah, this SIM card came from one of the phones that I will show you in later. Uh, I actually um, also got one more SIM card. I forgot where is it. Um, um, it came from a Xiaomi phone. It doesn't work, and the seller say I can take the SIM card for free. Um, and it is this Vina phone one? I haven't tested the SIM card, but I might put some of it in one of the other phones. So yeah, yeah. I went to um, the first flea market, and then on November I went to um, the um, antique store. Um, they call it antique um, because they are selling a bunch of antique stuff like that. It is way bigger than the first flea market I go. So let's start with the one that I'm well, kind of want. This is the Motorola W two hundred. This is basically, I believe, the CDMA variant of the um, C one thirty nine. I saw a couple track phones in the sh phone cell phone Moroa in the same same shop shop, but this is the only one I grabbed because, yeah, um, there was a Verizon BlackBerry of some sort, but I didn't get it. Get it. Um, and it works. I don't have the charger for it, but I had a um battery charger, the universal one. I don't know what it's it right now, but it works. It came with the S phone card, which means my W two hundred ten would turn on with that SIM card, which is good. Mm, come on And I actually um, went to a flea market today, and I found a couple um, um, Let's see what's it? Um, a couple um, s phone similar models, but those are I don't but it is the but I already have that one so I don't buy it I didn't buy it This is a very early s phone one because of the logo itself so it is the collector items Next, this is a um, what's the Nokia? This I usually have one of these, but it doesn't work. A two fifty. Um, this one uh, I'm not sure what's wireless. It, it came on on. Um, the SIM card. This SIM card actually came from the uh, the next one. This one right here. I will put that later. Um, I can probably test on this card. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's try this one because I haven't tested the SIM card. This reader, this one is kind of infinity. Um, I got the battery for it. This is this battery came from my old finds back in July. Um, let's see. Um, um. So I, but uh, it stays in the same. But you can assure that this does work, and it takes SIM card. Um, not regularly, but. For the most part, it did take the SIM card and it worked just fine. I actually saw a bunch of other model, but it just doesn't turn on. Yeah, that's an Nokia. It, sometimes it will shut up when, when the SIM card is inserted. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Yeah, it just did the, just restart the phone itself. But oh well, I can really fix that. What? 
So I may have been troll. The SIM card is oh, never mind. It just says the SIM card rejected for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, but sometimes when you um, yeah, it will just do a bit loop. It just did a bit loop, but um, yeah um. So that is the uh, eighty two fifty. I already have I have one of these back in the day, but it did not turn on at all. So. And then this is the cheapest phone I got in this slot for unknown reason. I don't know why this is very, this is very cheap, cheap. Um, because it is fully functional. This is a um twelve hundred. I actually been wanting one of these and for quite a while. I was actually surprised that they were selling this for only um one dollars. I'm actually quite surprised because despite the fact there's no battery, no battery, battery have one, but um. Yeah, battery is low because I put a um, battery from a mobile phone. As far as I know, I put uh, a Viettel SIM card and it did nothing. It is on um, Vietnam Mobile, Vietnam Mobile, which is a um, no GSM mobile. I don't know if it is still operating or not. I don't know, but yeah. It's a really cool phone to have. It's actually surprising it still work. Um, I'm actually surprised about that because these are not common to find. At least for me. Yeah, I want to put the SIM card in because um, I don't have any other Vietnam mobile card. Now onto the two phone I got um acquired today. Um, this is a Sony Ericsson J two thirty I, and I thought this was a lock to any um. Danish carrier, but I was wrong. This on the day I got these three, I actually saw this one. They were selling for a um, dollar fifty, and I don't have to, didn't bring the SIM card, so I just put a battery in and turn on. It's saying it's the same in Danish, so um, I am um, I didn't bring a SIM card, so I didn't buy it at first. But on today, two days later, um, I bought a um a SIM card that worked with it, and I bought a SIM card that worked. But I didn't buy the SIM card. I brought mine. I brought mine SIM card in, and it works just fine. And here's the ultra battery. I haven't charged this battery up, but I do have a charger for this one. I do have have is, and this battery came from a W two eight hundred. Um, it is the same battery as we, and I put the SIM card just to test if um it's locked or not. Uh, but it is actually um a um unlocked phone. LCD is kind of bad, but it works. Oh yeah, this one had a um, quiet speaker for some reason. There's no um, Vietnamese option on this one, which is um, kind of kind of kind of shame. But never mind. At least I got a um, Sony, very old Sony. Very this one is I believe older than my W800i, and is as basic as it is. But yeah, I saw this is the only story Ericsson I saw in that store. So yeah, I'm happy to have this one working. And last but not least, I got this one for um let's see how much money I paid for it. Fifty dollar fifty K. Um this is a um SDH X one sixty. Um this one is on Viettel. Um I don't have a, this one have no battery, no bike, but had a SIM card, and the charging port of this one is messed up. But this one's one they originally wanted seventy k, I wish for three three dollar fifty, but I got tied it down to two dollar fifty because the charging port was broken. But other than that, it still works. I already have one in the past. Um, it it came in the back. It didn't came in this a bit better condition than this one, but oh well. Um, I got this one. Ran. I got this one again, and yeah, I'm going to trade this because back when I got this one, it was the only flip phone that worked. Now I have the HD one fifty six work, so I got um two work free working flip phones. So yeah, I'm happy to have this one working. Also, it's kind of laggy for some reason. But yeah, can't complain about this one. It's only 50k, so I'm really happy to have this one working.
So, yeah. They had the X2 110 in one shot, but it does not turn on, so. So, that's, for, that's it for today's fine. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and peace.